So we got a call, just kidding. Uh, it was actually a text message and it was from Austin because he's stuck in his own yard. And if you're wondering how something like that can happen, I can explain it with just one word, Austin. So we're uh, pulling the Jeep out of the shop here and uh, we're gonna run over to Austin's house and see if we can get him pulled out or if it's the type of thing where we're gonna be hauling in excavators and dozers and equipment because knowing Austin, that's the kind of stuff it is. So we're gonna start out with the Jeep and see how it goes from there. So let's go for a little drive. here as you can see Austin only lives 20 seconds from me if you drive really really fast so I know I was joking earlier saying only Austin would get stuck in his own yard but the worst stuck I have ever been in my life was in my own driveway so we are here and we found Austin <laughs> so how's it going Austin not too bad <laughs> could we have picked a day where it's not 100 degrees to do this I, I think it's better to do it when it's 100 degrees because that way it's more miserable. I, I don't like your logic, but it's what it is. So, what happened? Oh, I backed into a hole over by my barn. Where can we, can we go right through here? Yes. Okay. Let's miss the rocks. It's a Jeep. We can drive over the rocks. <coughs> you got the Rona? I got the Rona. Nice. So probably a hole like that one right there. Yeah. Won't look too bad. Let's go see what you did. Did I ever tell you about the worst stuff I've ever been in my life? Probably in your own driveway. In my own driveway? Yeah. We had to get two low beds to haul equipment in, take backhoes and oh, dig yeah. all around it in the middle of the night. Yep. About one in the morning, we finally got it out, tore the hell out of the driveway. Blew out, a couple, blew out a couple tires. I've been stuck on flat ground more than I've been stuck elsewhere. Well, technically, this is not flat ground. It was until I backed into the grave. What are you digging a grave out here? Uh, it's a septic tank. Uh, oh, test pit. Test pit. Okay. Oh, just back, turn around. <laughs> yeah. Is that, that tire off the ground? So, should we yank it out? Sure. All right. I'll get it turned around. This is why you have friends that own towing companies. So, this is actually perfect because everybody saw where Matt sent me this Matt's off-road recovery rope that I really, really like. And then the people at Yankum Ropes reached out to me and got me a red rope. Heck yeah. So now... Matches the Jeep. Yeah, and even better. You get red soft shackles too? No, no, better than that. If I can find them. Gray soft shackles. Because my stuff is all red and gray. Red and gray. Red and gray. So, we will take... We don't need the recovery ring on this one. Okay, we we'll use this to make a bridle two soft shackles and just go to the front axle. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Oh, and also, the other thing, I had that hitch step here that I hooked a rope on, and we will use the yellow soft shackle that Matt gave me 
This is a soft shackle receiver mount. It's all radiused inside, so it's nice and smooth. And it's way more secure than the hitch step I was using, so I mean, probably should do it the safe and correct way. Perfect. Shall uh, we pull on stuff? Yeah. You want me to record? Oh, you got a better idea. Let's put that on the tripod and then you can hold the other camera in the truck. Okay. You just gonna stay in neutral? Okay. He says he's just gonna stay in neutral because he wants to make it harder for me. You make me work for it? I'll make you work for it. You might even put the brakes on. You might even put the brakes on. these uh, flags that mark the holes we should put back up yeah close enough do you hit the brakes a little bit <laughs> it worked well, I, I hit the brakes and I was trying to get it steered enough away from this tree oh I wasn't worried about the tree that was more your problem than mine <laughs> why does it look like skid marks through here skid marks or Dig marks. Looks like my dig marks and your skid marks. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to pull me over back over the. Oh, it won't start? Uh, like no hope? Like no hope. Okay, I can uh, pull you back, I guess. Okay, well, we got him out of the hole and drug him to the top of the little hill here and he shut it off, so now it won't start again. So now we gotta drag him all the way back. Over here? We can't somehow, I just, I don't know how. Okay, should we unhook it here and see if we can push it back and coast it down there? Yeah, we should just put, well, we can figure out something to get blow them through the fence. Like you with your foot on the brake maybe? Yeah, I think it's gonna take both of us. What if I pull you up a little higher where we can coast into that? Pump here, and you might go over it with just me pushing, and you can okay. drive it. Let me pull you a little farther up. Okay, that should be enough of a downhill that you should hopefully coast over that pump. Yeah. Cuss words, Austin. You have to bleep it out. I know. You, you have the technology now. I do. I just don't have the ambition. Oh, look at that little tripod stand works. I do like soft shackles, they make things really nice. Uh, yeah. Amazing it took them so long to figure out how to build them. Passwords, Austin! Is that thing recording? Yes. Oh. I thought you turned it off. I never turned the camera <laughs> off. Uh, should we try pushing it back? We can try. Okay, hop in. And I'll push and you ride. Ready? Go faster! I'm pushing on the gas. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, come on. So close. 
Now what do we do with it? All right, we gave up and pulled out the winch. So what we have going on now is the winch going down to the generator trailer with the recovery ring. This is basically a snatch block for synthetic rope. The rope goes through this ring and as you can see, it uh, the ring just spins on here because there's no hardly any resistance in there. So that goes straight back to that D-ring on the back of the truck. You ready? Yeah. And then we'll pull the truck backwards off of this with the Jeep over there because everything else we tried didn't work. So now we winch and remotes are awesome. Watch it just pull the trailer. Now it's staying. And you should never go near winch ropes when they're working, but I want to show you how this thing works. The only thing you do got to watch for is when they go slack that it doesn't fall out of there and get in between because then you could be rope on rope and damage it. So it's working. good good enough for his floor I agree with that perfect cool done thank you you're welcome see you next time <laughs> call me when you get stuck again right, and I'll call you. you when someone else gets stuck <laughs> all right see you later so before we get any farther into this, I will say I was a huge skeptic of synthetic line in general and especially these soft shackles and all that type of stuff and until I bought uh, this kinetic rope here off of Amazon. It's just some cheap knockoff one and it was great. And then I started getting some soft shackles and all that to go with it. Got the recovery rings to use the snatch blocks. Then uh, Matt from Matt's Off-Road Recovery sent me one of his signature ropes but I will say there is a huge difference in hitting the end of this Yankum rope and hitting the end of this uh, Amazon knockoff brand I don't even know what kind it is it was cheap and I'm cheap so I bought it uh, but this one you still get a little bit of a jolt when you catch tight at the end this one feels like you're like falling into a pillow it is smooth as can be and obviously this one today is the first time I've used it same thing because they're made by the same company and uh, very smooth and much nicer to hit the end of than this one. This one works, but these just work better. And like same with the shackles, like this here is a whole bag of shackles and snatch blocks basically that weighs like one or two pounds instead of each one weighing a few pounds. I bought cheap stuff at first. Uh, Matt upgraded me to some nicer stuff. Yankum Ropes upgraded me to some just as nice stuff in my colors. And even aside from them sending me stuff, there is such a difference in quality that I'm going to buy some more of their gear because I like it so much. So yeah, if you're interested in it, go check out the links below, go check out their websites, uh, yankumropes.com. And uh, that would really help me out and it would help you out because then you can get yourself unstuck and not have to call me and spend a bunch of money. So go check them out. Oh, and if you're wondering if that was a sales pitch, absolutely it was. But it's a sales pitch of stuff I like and use and you're seeing it, so. I definitely think it's worth it. Okay, I was leaving, but now we turned around and you can see we're going back because I forgot the other camera in that truck. So I kind of need that to make this whole video out of. Got it. Okay, now I'm leaving after come over real quick, just pop a truck out of the sand, turned into two hours of messing around with the thing. But oh well, that's all part of the fun. So now I'm gonna head into town and uh, go pick up Riley, then go home and enjoy the evening. So 
that is it for this one and we will see you guys next time